Uh, my name's Nick, Nick Falcone. I'm 20, about to turn 21, and I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. This is Eric. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. I am from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm 20 years old. I'm Grayson. I'm 20. Um, I'm from Colorado, originally. You're 20. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 19. I'm Ava. I'm from Florida. I'm from Fort Myers. I'm Will. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Right. Not cool. I'm Annabelle, I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. My favorite? Um, question. Probably TikTok, because it's the most entertaining. I like Instagram, because I take a million photos, and so I can't just look through all of my camera roll when I want to look back at past moments. Like, it helps me as like a little personal journal thing and then if people want to see it they can um my favorite social media platform is twitter like it's the least like in your face it's just casual and there's a lot of conversation that happens on twitter and it's not very one-sided i think instagram because it gives me the most like entertainment like entertainment values there like for sure but i probably use snapchat the most to talk to people is a uh, snapchat I just kind of that's just kind of where i have everyone or how i get in contact with everyone well, i'm gonna go with youtube i don't think a lot of people are youtubers as opposed to like posting stuff on instagram and so it gives you a chance where you're not looking at your own channel or your own page and it just lets you de-stress and watch other people have fun I definitely consume more. I, I, I like to use social media to learn, like I said. Viewer, I don't really do TikToks. They're all really bad. I'm definitely a poster. I tweet every single thought I've ever had. <laughs> I have to follow your Twitter now, yeah, actually. You do. I want to... we'll, we'll put it on the screen. Anyway. Yeah, shout me out. <laughs> um... I just post like whenever I have the stuff to post. Social media is like YouTube and stuff. I just, I only consume. And I consume like an absurd amount of social media. I'm a viewer, I almost, I never really put anything, I never really put anything out there, to be honest. So I like to look at stuff, look at reels and stuff. I would consider myself a viewer as opposed to a poster. I post a few times on Instagram just to show that I'm still alive. <laughs> and I definitely, I have an Instagram page, which I only really go on on my computer, which is kind of funny to say, but I'm, I'm not on there a bunch. Like some people are scrolling forever. I kind of just see what people posted and then I'm off of it. Probably like five. So I'm, I'm right around um, like five hours right now, which, right. Is, which is better than it was. How um, do you think you average per day? <laughs> Probably at least eight hours, like 12 hours. I'm addicted to my phone, so honestly, probably four or five hours, All right. like a ton. Probably like, okay, it's gonna say like 12 hours because I sleep with YouTube on, but like actively on my yeah. phone probably like six to seven hours mm. <laughs> my screen time is atrocious <laughs> if i never got leaked to the world i would cry it's closer to eight hours without the whole falling asleep watching youtube thing hopefully it's not <laughs> Ten. Sure. just so we can use it for some statistics i don't really look at it could be a uh, oh, off. daily average, 8 hours and 56 oh, minutes. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, cool. 345. Nice. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Well, <laughs> that also doesn't include my laptop, which I mostly <laughs> use. So, this is the minimal usage. Um, About 6 hours and 20 minutes last week. Uh, I would say it's really harmful to a lot of people and by me staying off of it I'm, I'm able to actually have like higher confidence I can feel myself scrolling for like hours and I and I felt like it was a waste of my time I'd much rather be um, um, learning reading depends like which way you look at it because like it can connect you like I have friends that like or family friends that live in like Australia and the only way I really connect with them is like through social media but then there's also the kind of people that just get fights on it you can tell how phone usage, growing up with that constant access to that, that the internet is everything all of the time. 
think the good old days were a little better with people being appreciative of their surroundings. I think a lot of stuff is taken for granted because of the internet, because the grass is always greener at the other, on the other side, and you see every single possible other side in the world constantly. I think I could talk about this all day. Like, it absolutely does more harm. I think, like, you guys are all my age, so when we grew up, it was much different. But when we look at, like, the kids now, like, they're so... I would consider myself addicted, and they're growing up with the stuff that, like, we find addictive now. I think it's going to be, like, terrible for their short-term, like, or, uh, for their attention span, I should say. Uh, I've heard this been thrown around, but it's, like, a highlight reel, almost. So it's you're seeing the, the best side of everyone, and... And you can't really help but compare yourself to them. But in, in reality, that's not really how they're living every second of their life. It depends on what you put into it on an individual level. And it can be a powerful tool to help you. But if you use it mindlessly and you allow it to take over your world, then it absolutely will. And I feel like that's what the majority of people do. Overall, I would say more harm, but it really just depends on what you put into it. I can say it... it it has maybe a little bit. I feel like there's just a lot of comparing us to other people because someone else is always going to be more successful in you and something. Just on top of that, we feel like we need to be better than everyone else and we feel like we need to top everyone. The constant comparing yourself to everybody else in the room is extremely harmful. I found that like a lot of my friends only really care about like take, like if we're like doing something like having fun like all they care about is taking pictures so they can post on Instagram and I'm over here like I kind of just want to like enjoy the moment and like be present and not care about like what picture I'm gonna get and how many likes I'm gonna get on it and whether it like goes with my aesthetic on my Instagram. But for me it's like why do I care what people think like I don't have to post like me on like like partying or whatever like on a boat it's like. Why do I care what people think if I'm like in the club or not? It's screwed with our mental health a lot. It's just uh, like seeing how much the screen time has obviously affected some people at our age. It just makes me really worried for the kids that are exposed to even more of it. Yes, entirely. I like I grew up only using social media. I wouldn't like talk to people in person. I would only talk to people online. So I feel like that really inhibited the way I'm able to like connect with people and kind of put up a false reality of what connection actually was. I think even to this day, like, I have problems fully connecting with people because we have our phones on us at all times, and it's so easy to just text them instead of call them or, like, meet up with them somewhere. Yes, yes, take it away from me <laughs> right now. It, a lot of people use it for not, like, it good. It's a great tool to like sell things or like teach people stuff. So I just think people need to be more conscious of how they use and uh, kind of what they're consuming. I'm indifferent. I definitely think social media is necessary and a great tool that is used for a lot of good and like connects people from across the world, business opportunities, like people you would never meet, just roaming around. Yeah, I don't think we would be better off without it, but I think we'd be better off if we used it better. <laughs> Like, our generation, like, doesn't know life without social media. There's, like, the pros, like I said earlier, about how you can connect to people, like, you don't see all the time and everything. We crave just, like, entertainment and validation, and, like, I don't think there is a way for us to fully get rid of it. We should either come to a proper medium or just cut social media entirely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's, like very influenced by what they see on social media, hence like why like influencers are all like all of a sudden a thing. The people in power actively try to make it more interesting for us and to make it a problem that we are addicted to it and we can't get away from all of this constant like advertising. Yes, but I don't think it's only the United States. Don't quote me on this, I think it's India has like the highest population of people who use the, the internet. I feel like it's not solely an American problem, but we definitely do have a problem. The problem is that we use it as a distraction mechanism. Is it to take away from actual real life experiences and being alive and enjoying nature and connecting to our human roots. So we use it to distract from all of our problems that we have, all of our life that we're living. And we just create these little fantasies that just manifest into like a fairy tale view of the world. I feel like a little bit of it is wanting to be like 
how would you say, like, feel popular, feel like you're, like, cool or whatever, feel, will feel upset if they don't get enough likes on their posts. I mean, I know everybody feels that way, no matter who you are, so yeah. it is part of it. I don't think it's really changed me that much, because I'm not, I don't really care, like, what I post on it, or, like, I don't, like, go about my daily life just so I can, like, post it on social media. If my phone is available, um, I've kind of just been conditioned whenever nothing is actively happening to get out my phone and start scrolling. A clear addiction, and so whenever I study or need to enter deep work, I absolutely have to keep my phone as far away from me as physically possible. I feel like almost when I'm on campus or like in, in the city, I'm almost in like in a bubble, so I'm able to see into like other people's lives, kind of see, uh, see how they live, I kind of see what's out there see what opportunities there is for me and I kind of and then just like use it to uh, learn um social media made me first of all <laughs> I don't think it changed me the detachment from social media changed me more than anything just like returning to my human roots and like my primal state of being but I think without the introduction of social media into my childhood I most definitely would be a completely different person wouldn't have the variety and like diversity of my friends that I have I don't think I probably would just stick to people who are like me and just like the people who grew up in my hometown. Like, I don't think I would be at University of Tampa if I didn't have social media to influence that. It changed a lot of things, actually, now that I think about it.